How do we know that f adjoint alpha is algebraic over f adjoint alpha cubed, knowing nothing else about alpha? So we don't know, for example, that alpha is even algebraic over f. Alpha could be pi and f be the rationals or something like that. We don't know. But if they're asking, what is the degree of this extension, and they expect an answer, then either our answer has to be infinity, because this is a transcendental extension, or our answer has to be a finite number, in which case this is a finite algebraic extension. So leaving the finite part to the side for a moment, how do we know that this is an algebraic extension? So alpha's in E, which means in particular f adjoin alpha, if we add one more step to our tower here, is going to be the subfield of E. But we don't know if E over f is algebraic. That could be something really nasty. So in fact, this, this extension in the middle is the only one that we're going to know anything specific about, which is why I think the tower law is distracting. So why is this an algebraic extension? So remind me, because maybe this is where the confusion is coming from. Remind me what we mean when we say algebraic extension. Scott, so what does it what does it mean for an extension to be algebraic? This actually was a distinction that I saw when I gave the feedback on the last homework that was maybe not fully grasped yet. So an algebraic extension is one in which every element of the extended field satisfies some polynomial equation over the base field. Let's say is a root of some polynomial. Over the base field. In this case, our base field is f adjoin alpha cubed. So the only element that we might not know is algebraic over f alpha cubed is the only element that we suspect might not be already a part of f alpha cubed, namely alpha itself. So that's why this question, is alpha algebraic over q? And if it is, what is its minimal polynomial? And Daniel, you mentioned a possibility. Sorry, um, I didn't mean q here. I meant f adjoint alpha q. Sorry. So what is its minimal polynomial over f adjoint alpha q? t cubed minus How about this? t cubed minus alpha cubed. Well, this requires a little more thought because we know this polynomial has alpha as a root. We know this polynomial is monic. What about irreducible? Yeah, do we know whether this is irreducible? So it does depend on alpha, which is why we might have two possible answers here. So the hint is, and this hint should be from here what you need to complete this proof, the hint is cubics, luckily for us, have very simple irreducibility criteria. What is a necessary and sufficient condition for a cubic to be irreducible? There's no linear factor. And there's no linear factor if what happens? Uh, 
So the only way for this to have a linear factor is to have a root where? It has to factor over this thing. Right? So this is irreducible if and only if it has no roots in f adjoint alpha cubed. And if you can figure out under what circumstances that polynomial has a root in f adjoint alpha cubed, in other words, has a root which we can express only in terms of elements of f and multiples of alpha cubed, and powers of alpha cubed, I suppose, then that should get you to where you need to go on this one.